Peace, love, and light, my beautiful collective energy. Welcome to First Eye Vision. My name is Q, and I am here to do a general reading for the collective energy. That includes yin and yang, divine feminine, divine masculine. I will, everyone that is tuning and tapping in, is feeling amazing on this Thor's Day. Everything is everything on my side of the planet. And uh, so we just want to take a nice little general dive, going to dive a little deep into what's coming in, what's going out, what's going on with the collective energy. Um, if you are new here, I welcome you all. Thank you so much for just showing a little bit of love, tuning in. I rotate that love back to you infinitely. Uh, I will that a message resonates for you here today, uh, but my spiel on this side is eat the fish, spit out the bones. If it doesn't apply, just let it fly by. Do not try to force anything. If it's not yours, don't try to carry it. Um, my readings are also timeless, so whenever this video pops up in your feed, that was divine timing, and it's in divine order that you are seeing this video, that you've clicked play on this video. So if you are new to this channel, a little about me, my name is Q, um, I channel messages intuitively, I am an empath and I am also clairaudient, so I do incorporate music into my readings and they blend beautifully with what I am channeling intuitively as well as what shows up in the tarot cards. Right now we have NWA and the name of that song was Boys in the Hood. So when I first heard the song, the thing that uh, struck out was um, NWA is an acronym for Negus with Attitudes. I know it's the other, you know, N-I-G-G-A-S, but I say Negus with Attitudes. Um, but what really resonated was the word attitude. And I was hearing attitude of gratitude. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you've been through a lot. You've been through the thick of it. You don't come from anything. Like, you don't come from money. You don't come from, you know, um, you know, a life where things were just handed over to you on a silver platter. I feel like you all grew up in the hood. You had very humble beginnings, humble start, and you had to work for everything you have right now. So it's like you are very gracious, very thankful for the things that you have, for the things you've been able to accomplish, even with all of, um, you know, everything that has been, you know, kind of like, uh, pent up against you, everything that you was faced with. It's like you still were able to smile in the face of your enemies and persevere. You know, you were able to be resilient, to show that resilience, to come out of those dark moments, those dark times. Uh, so I do feel this strong sense of like attitude of gratitude, um, being thankful for what you have, remembering that there was a time when you was praying for the things you now have because you didn't have it then. So it's like you're really thankful. You're really humbled. I'm, I'm just really getting a sense of humbled beginnings. You know, you can't really... Um, you can't really treat others with empathy and sympathy unless you've been through things, unless you've experienced a lot of hurt and pain and turmoil. And I feel like that's what you all were being attuned to. That's what you all were being aligned, you know, to do is to help service others, to be in a line of work where you are assisting others. Um, we have Jay-Z playing Hard Knock Life. Uh, so you absolutely, this is just confirmation, and I just want to show you. I'm going to show you both songs because you know how I do on this channel. If you are not new, you know I like to show and prove, beloveds. So the first song that was playing was, um, sorry, it was the NWA song, Boys in the Hood. And then we have the Jay-Z that was just playing Hard Knock Life. So you definitely didn't have it easy. As I said, it's been a hard life. It's been very difficult. But when you look back at what you've come from and, you know, compare it to where you are, you're very, very thankful, very humble. I just get a strong sense of attitude, of gratitude. And that is a beautiful place to be because it means that you've learned compassion. You've learned to forgive those who may have wronged you, who may have hurt you, who may have done you wrong in them streets, them boys in the streets, them girls in the streets, in the hood rather, you know. So it's like you, you've you learned from 
a lot of the experiences and you're not walking around with a chip on your shoulder it's like you literally are humbled you literally are thankful because it has taught you compassion you know um and and for that i feel blessings i feel rewards i feel recognition i feel a very beautiful energy um of just you being showered with some sort of miracle, some sort of wish, something you've prayed for is going to come true. Um, I heard someone that you've prayed for may come in. Um, so this is very beautiful energy that I'm picking up. So that is what I'm p picking up intuitively. We're going to delve a little deeper. But before we do, I would like to go ahead and do some house cleaning. So let's go ahead. I'm going to take a deep breath. Inhale. And exhale. I call upon the elements of water, fire, earth, air, and ether. I call all of the angels in all directions. I call upon our angels, ancestors, spirit guides, deities, ascended masters, animal totems, earth, mother Gaia, universe, source, the divine to shower us with a beautiful, powerful message of love and of light. I call personally upon Baba Obatala, Mama Oya, and Baba Ogun to bless me with the intuition and discernment of my cards. Help me to pick up on the energy, the number, synchronicity, and vibrations of my cards. And so it is, so mote it be. Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. So we're going to do things a little differently today. What we are going to do is we're going to use the Witch's Wisdom deck because I've been using the numerology deck and I just want to like change the energy, you know, the frequency, you know, so I'm going to go ahead and start off with a completely different deck. It is approaching, you know, uh, Halloween season and um, so... I do want to go ahead and see what we got coming and going out, going on with this energy, with these new cards here. So what do we have? Oh, <laughs> prosperity, beloveds. Look at that. This gold, this, this, this harvest, this, this looks like a, oh my God, this is amazing. This is beautiful. I just love that. I just spoke on how you all been through so much, you know, we got Jay-Z still rhyming hard knock life, you know, and so it's like spirit has noticed what you've been through, spirit has noticed how difficult things have been, and that's why I was picking up on like you all receiving some sort of answer to your prayers, petitions you've been sending up, I feel like for the past 10 years, five years, it's like now they're going to start coming true, you're going to start seeing those blessings pour in, this is beautiful. You have prosperity ahead. There's abundance. I'm hearing spiritual prosperity, material prosperity. This is a beautiful blessing because when you have that attitude of gratitude and you are acting in a space of compassion and forgiveness, this is why prosperity is here. These, those are the types of, that is the type of behavior and attitude spirit is looking for you to have to show that type of compassion to others. So be prepared. This is like a golden ticket, you know? I feel like there's a harvest out there for you. There's, there's just many blessings coming in. Look at that, boundaries. You've learned to set boundaries. I feel whatever cycle you've completed, you've learned how to create boundaries, how to, you know, assert yourself so that others wouldn't overstep your boundaries. I feel like you've cut a lot of things off, a lot of bad habits, behaviors, belief systems, ideologies, even people, circumstances. Like, it's like you've learned, you know, your worth, your value. And we have dog, um, the dog pound, and this is called, what would you do? So I do feel like some of y'all was dealing with, you know, a lot of energy that was, you know, perhaps disloyal you know I feel like there wasn't a lot of loyalty um, in these connections that you've developed with the people around you which is why the boundaries is here because you've had to develop the boundaries with individuals because there weren't any you didn't you know um, necessarily establish those boundaries or you know kind of like let people know what your boundaries were so they wouldn't overstep them 
And so for you asserting yourself and finally standing up to yourself and finally seeing the truth also, you know, this is literally like, you know, finally getting that epiphany, that aha, you know, finally seeing uh, what could have been hindering you or blocking you, what could have been a roadblock period, you know, because when you go through things, like I said, it does, it softens you, it, 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 it softens you in a way where you are uh, showing more compassion to those around you not very judgy, not judging yourself even, not judging others because you understand that we are all on the spiritual journey together learning. But you do have to establish boundaries when you realize that there's people around you that do not have your best interest at heart or maybe they are, you know, not as far along the process of healing and growing. So it's like it could be a toxic energy. It could be an attachment. It could be a spiritual parasite. It could be a, a, a energy vampire. You have to cut that off of you. You have to cut yourselves free. You know, some of these people could have been weighing you down for a long time. And I feel like with the dog pound, I feel like you were very loyal to people who were disloyal to you. You were faithful to people who were unfaithful. You know, you was holding people down, up side we was holding them holding them carrying them i'm hearing he was literally carrying people on your shoulders and bearing the brunt of all of the responsibilities of a connection of a relationship that requires a equal give and take and i feel like because you've established those boundaries because you've learned to cut yourselves free from things that were not necessarily serving you you know, your highest good or didn't have your best interest at heart. That's why there's this sense of reward because it's like you've lightened your load. You know, you've kind of lightened your load. So that's beautiful. So let's see what we got coming in, going out, going on for my beautiful collective energy, the yin and yang. Let's see what we got coming in, going out, going on. So we're going to cut this deck, see what, what energy we have for my beautiful divine feminine, divine masculines. And y'all know I've been cutting my deck three times, three different ways for the past six months or so. Over our energy, we have clearance. This card came out in the Scorpio reading. So some of you all could be Scorpio. Some of you all could be dealing with a Scorpio. So I do feel like there's definitely this energy of clearing, clearing house, I heard, cleansing your home. Some of you all could have purchased like a cinnamon uh, broom. I said cinnamon stick in the former reading. I meant cinnamon, cinnamon broom. A lot of people place those right by the entranceway of their doors, their um, homes to ward off any negative energy. It's also like used to, you know, bring in prosperity and abundance. Cinnamon is also, um, you know, an ingredient uh, which draws in abundance, prosperity. I do feel that there is um, a need perhaps to do some clearing in your home, clean, clear it and cleanse. You know, maybe you are clearing up, wrapping up a cycle. I definitely feel like there's a need to like, I, I heard sweep. So perhaps some of you all need to like uh, sprinkle some salt and sweep the salt out of the front entrance of the home. Do you need to do some sweeping. You need to do a egg cleanse, which is like sweeping your body, your physical body, your vessel, your avatar. This is about release. This is about purge, purging. This is definitely about, you know, getting that last little residual energies out of there. And we have uh, passion. So there's something you all are very passionate about. Or someone that could be very passionate about you. Because I do remember there was, um, in the beginning, I said that there could be like new energy or even a new love that could be coming in. And with this passion, maybe some of you all are discovering what your passions actually are. You're no longer like fighting it. It's like you're starting to, um, you know, you're starting to investigate a little more what, what it is you enjoy, what it is you, you know, desire. You're following your heart's true, truest desires now. But maybe there's a need to, you know, clear up your, your, you know, clear yourselves up if your past, you know, that's like cutting the cord to your past, you know, that's like setting yourselves free, releasing the past, letting go of the past. Maybe some of you all need to, you know, clean your homes of any remnants of a past person being there. If you wish to draw in new love, you need to get rid of the, the old boxer shorts and socks that the ex left over, the clothing 
you know, that toothbrush brush you're hiding in the bathroom. It's like get rid of things of the past so that the new, so that that fresh energy, that f new energy could come in. Because I feel it's something that you <clears throat> will feel very invigorated and my throat chakra is getting blocked. So, so perhaps someone you haven't spoken to in a while, someone has not expressed themselves or communicated feelings. Maybe this is your energy. There's a need to unblock, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> unblock your throat chakras. Maybe somebody is doing this now, like, you know, releasing an ex, clearing themselves, you know, clean, clear and cleanse, you know, even their minds, you know, this is, this is very indicative of, you know, clearing everything, you know, your home, clearing your mind, your avatar, as I said. So let's see what else we got coming in for my divine feminine masculine. I can't make this up. Look what you, look what we have here. <laughs> and the bottom of the deck, we have dedication. So you definitely have been, I feel manifesting this this that is coming in and as I said we got fertility here so this is a divine feminine and divine masculine this is apparently twin flames this is that same fire that we saw on the former card it's here so this is someone that desires you this is someone that you could have been um, you know clearing up a karmic cycle I feel someone else could have been clearing up a karmic cycle I feel that there is, you know, a connection that is undeniable here because look at this passion, this longing, you know, and it's, you know, creating this fire here. So I'm hearing like, you know, fire and desire, Rick James. I'm hearing that very loud in my mind's eye. This is someone that you could potentially have children with or someone that you could make babies with. This is definitely someone that is looking at you as... Um, their cosmic companion. I'm feeling that there is like perhaps there is something written in the stars that this connection is uh, coming into union at this time because I do feel that you've cleared up a karmic cycle, learned karmic lessons, and I feel like you've paid off. I heard karmic debts. So now it is your just due to receive this blessing here, I see 17, 17 on the clock, and that reduces to 8, 8, which reduces to 7. So this could be coming in quickly because I'm getting the chariot. 8, 8 is literally you and someone else mirroring one another. Whenever I see uh, numbers that are, you know, synchronized or mirrored um, combination, you know, that 8, 8 is telling me that this could be, you know, a wish fulfillment, as I was saying earlier, like some sort of wish coming true and answered prayer. Someone may see you as a wish come true. You may see them as a wish come true as well. There's obviously some sort of, um, longing for one another because this long gaze is like, they're not even kissing. They're just kind of like gazing into one another's eyes. So there's a very strong passion. There's a strong chemistry, strong desire. And I feel a lot of you have taken your, you know, your petitions, your prayers, your wishes to your altars. You could have been doing a lot of manifestation rituals, manifesting what you desire, setting your intentions, even if it isn't for a specific person, but just for love in general, for abundance in general. I feel like a lot of you all have been really just like devoted to connecting with your angels, your guides. You've been working with them more frequently. Just paying homage. I'm seeing candles. I'm seeing incense. So maybe this is a way that you all, um, you know, this is the way that you give offerings is you may leave, you know, libation. You may give them flowers. You may light candles. You may, you know, even light incense. I'm definitely seeing that there's been a lot of um, effort to build that connection with your ancestors, with your deities, with your spirit team, your guides, your gods, your spiritual parents. I'm strongly seeing um, a lot of dedication. And I feel that that whatever energy or intention, I should say, you've been putting into um, your altar work into your uh, 
manifestation rituals. I feel like that's what's uh, causing, you know, this this union. I heard reunion loud when I said union. I heard reunion. So this is definitely someone uh, from your past. And I feel this is someone that you have very uh, good chemistry with. I feel like in the past there could have been miscommunication because I was getting choked up earlier. I feel like somebody said things they didn't really mean. It's like they showed you something different than how they actually felt. And I feel like somebody had to clear up a lot of, you know, the, the nonsense, you know, in their life, even in their own belief system, even in their own mind. It was it was requiring somebody to really clear up some of the nonsense, you know. Because that passion that we saw, that's what was intensifying throughout this whole time. You have not been communicating with this person. I feel like this person was definitely um, feeling that loss. And that's why this passion, you know, this uh, fertility card is here. Because there's a union. There's, a, there's definitely a union. And so what I see here, what's playing right now is we have, uh, we have Grand Pooba. So some of you all could have gotten, um, you know, you may have felt backstabbed by this person because I see backstabbers. And so this was definitely some sort of karmic situation. Somebody got backstabbed by a karmic, I feel, because this clearance is showing me there's, you know, some sort of karmic ending, cleared up a karmic cycle. And so when you're clearing up a karmic cycle, that definitely means you're attached to a karmic. And there's lessons that you have to learn from that karmic. And so it very well could have led someone to um, perhaps misreading the situation with you and going with that karmic only to learn that that karmic was, you know, the grass wasn't green on the other side. So they may have had to go through that, um, you know, disappointment of being backstabbed, betrayed, deceived, same way you were, you know, maybe there was a sense of karma dharma, you know, because that eight, I just feel like, you know, that's also dealing with karma. It's like what goes around comes back around again. That's the infinity symbol. So the good deed you do, even the bad, it's going to come back. And, you know, because that's universal law. So I do feel like maybe somebody got like instant karma, the way that they mistreated you and they got sat down for a minute. And maybe now they're trying to muster up the courage because with that eight, you know, that strength in traditional tarot. So maybe this person, because they, you know, may have started to like assess the situation they realized that they backstabbed you as well give me one moment i'm sorry all right my bad that was my daughter she was um just coming in and i think i just saw 2222 but i'm not gonna even sweat it because i mean we know that's eight so um and i was just chiming on the strength card so that does make sense um so do definitely somebody is 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 like literally mustering up the courage um, to come in, you know, building up that strength, that courage, and, and also, you know, wisening up, you know, um, right now we have gang star and this is called deadly habits. So we just had bad, um, backstabbers playing. So maybe somebody was a creature of habit, you know, maybe they were doing things that sabotage them in the end. So it is possible, but they've had some sort of awakening, you know, Someone has awakened to some sort of truth. What always sticks out to me are these two cows just kind of sitting off in the pastures, just like, you know, hanging out together. They almost like are twinning because they're so close together. But this is just a, a very symbolic of um, a, an energy that could be coming in that's going to ground you, make you feel very grounded. This could be an earth energy because that I'm getting like Taurus. I'm getting like, you know, with that cow, you know, that is the animal totem for, um, you know, for the uh, Taurians. So let's see what we got coming in, going out, going on, beloveds. What else is coming in for my beautiful, divine, feminines, and masculines? All right, I'm not taking all of those. Can't do it. Can't do it. I'm going to give my cards a bang, bang, boogie. Bottom of the deck, we have concealment. So... Yeah, so I'm going to take the two cards that have faced up, and then we'll see what that is. But with concealment cloak, this is to me, I always hear hidden enemy. This is someone that's not showing their hand. This is someone that's doing um, their best to not reveal them their true intentions or some ulterior motives. It's like they're they're kind of hidden. You can't see 
you know, this person because they have their back turned, number one, but also because they're cloaked. So it's like, this is to me, I, I always get like a threat. I feel like a threatening energy. I don't know if this is like someone, um, you know, like that karmic energy that needs to be cleared out and cleared up. And we have LL Cool J going back to Cali playing. So this is someone who's trying to perhaps, um, you know, influence someone to go backwards, you know, because I'm, I'm, I'm just getting that energy like, you know, this this is a very meticulous energy, very strategic, some just a very um, I just feel ulterior motives. I feel someone is trying to work against you know, another person with going back to Cali, they trying to play it cool, but they're definitely watching, studying, see this, but there is a power, you know, unseen, unheard that's protecting you. I feel like this is, you know, perhaps the power that both that divine feminine and masculine, um, both have, you know, you have the ability to you know, tap into this power first and foremost. And I do feel like some of you all, especially with all of these lights and all of this, this energy or surrounding, you know, the top of this witch's hat, I do feel like there's, that's just, you know, some form of confirmation that you are very amplified psychically. Like there's a strong psychic intuitive gift that you have. And so it's like spirit is almost telling you to pay attention because you have the power to, you know, to have this hidden person revealed to you. It's almost like spirit is also saying like this person has already been revealed, even though they're trying their hardest to hide their intentions or trying to hide themselves. It's like you have the power to see beyond the veil, the illusion so that that's very powerful and we have Wiccan Reed here see you are protected because we have this guardian card and then we have Wiccan Reed Wiccan Reed is pretty much like the laws that witches have to abide by when you start doing things the way you want then you are going against um you know the practices the spiritual practice the order of things and that is not good for you 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 have a read you have a law that you must uphold and so someone is definitely, because I was picking up with this concealment, someone's trying to hide their hand, but you have the power to see through this. So I, I just strongly feel like you all are very psychic, very in tune, very attuned as well with Mother Gaia, with Earth, you know, and I also feel with this cat here, this, this animal uh, totem here, the cat is very impervious to threat. Cats are very intuitive. Cats also... You know, they can um, teeter between this physical reality as well as the spiritual realms. That's why a lot of people are afraid of cats. They're afraid of themselves. They're afraid of having the truths revealed to them, you know. But this right here is showing that you are protected, beloveds. There is uh, an angel, an ancestor. That's why we saw the dedication, because you've devoted a lot of time with your, your ancestors. You may spend a lot of time or utilize a lot of time connecting with your deities, ancestors, spirit guides, spirit teams, you know, you, you have devoted that connection, uh, you devoted that time to build that connection. And that's why your angels and guides are protecting you. There's definitely someone trying to contain you, trying to keep you stuck. I strongly feel like there's someone who has ulterior motives of some sort. Oh, and this was here. Wait, I forgot what was down here. I think concealment was there. And this was on the bottom. Yeah, I'm tripping. Pardon me. So the containment, someone's definitely trying to get someone to go backwards. Someone could be cooking up like, I mean, whenever you see cauldrons, this is what witches and, and warlocks and, you know, people in the practice, they utilize cauldrons to cook up their recipes. So someone could be cooking up some sort of, uh, love spell trying to contain someone so that they would go backwards and not perhaps come towards you give me one moment I'm sorry it's my bad I'm sorry it's a lot going on my daughter just came in so but yeah so this is kind of telling me that somebody's trying to keep someone stuck in this this karmic cycle you know trying to have somebody repeat this could be that you know how the 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 you know uh 
Mercury retrograde brings exes back and you know they start going backwards the communication gets all laggy all skewed and communication gets all you know just kind of like mixed up and somebody could definitely um fall into the trap of falling for the okie doke um so this is like you know literally somebody's like passions fire desire is burning for another person but then you have this 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 hidden enemy here that's working against this union trying to cook up something to block this connection and also trying to block this divine feminine from coming in because this is the card that came out so i do feel like y'all need to protect your energy ladies uh that came out heavy in a scorpio reading so some of you scorpios could be tuning and tapping in it is four 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 in the clock so that is a message from spirit definitely protect your energy i was picking up in that reading that i did for scorpio a lot of heavy energy you know um there's a lot of spiritual attacks going on right now there's a lot of psychic attacks going on right now there's a lot of people walking around with psychological um spiritual parasites rather you know they don't even realize it when you start finding people doing things out of character and it's inexplainable you don't understand what's going on or you start seeing things just popping up like certain ailments and stuff that's a that's like literally you got some sort of spiritual parasite parasite attached to you someone is cooking up something because of jealousy i just get jealousy envy you know um this this person is a hidden enemy so this means that they're watching you from a distance and we have master ace and this is called beautiful so they, they're jealous of your beauty. They're jealous of the way others love you. You know, they're jealous of the fact that your spirit is just so pure and strong and light. And you're just, you're regal, royal. It's like you, you're just attractive, you know, and you, it, to them, it just seems like you get everything so easy. But this is the furthest thing from the truth. I feel like a lot of you all have been through some things and all people see is, this outcome they see this this you know how you've turned out but they don't see what you've been through what you've had to endure so there is someone you know trying to cook up some spells but i do feel like you have a lot of angels that are protecting you you know you you also are being told to utilize your power utilize your power because somebody is using theirs against you and 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 it's this is like you know this is like face confront your fears this is somebody you're familiar with as well, because with this energy here, that's why spirit, your guardians, your angels are there protecting you. Because remember, we was picking up like disloyalty earlier. You know, we had dog pound playing and I was picking up the word loyalty. So I feel like this was someone you've been loyal to. You know, this was someone you've been very loyal to in the past. You know, possibly if this is like, you know, perhaps a mother to your child, father to your child, you know somebody that you're familiar with could be returning to disrupt this even if it's not an uh, a person coming in who has that energy you could very well have that type of energy with someone from your past that you need to you know release let go get rid of they're trying to interfere with some sort of beautiful sacred union that is you know developing here trying to keep you stuck trying to keep you contained so it's like you have to do your due diligence, like Spirit said, you know, as that divine feminine, even if you're divine masculine, the one thing you do know how to do is you know how to uh, tap into your higher self. You know how to uh, tap into your intuition. You know how to be that alchemist, that magi, that sorcerer. You know how to use I magi nation to set intention. So next we have magic. Same cards that, are that came out in the former reading. We had clearance. We also had containment and now we have magic. So there is no doubt about it that you all have someone doing some sort of candle magic. Someone is really doing candle magic. Now, this could be somebody manifesting you for love. See this ritual. Somebody's doing some sort of spell work. And I feel strongly that it, they're doing something to this divine feminine because of jealousy and because of your beauty, because we just have master ace. So someone's upset because you've mastered yourself and have ascended into this divine feminine, divine masculine energy. And this is someone who is so desperate, so perturbed by your beauty that they are trying to, you know, do some sort of ritual work, spell work, you know, trying to keep you contained, trying to keep you stuck. And spirit is like, look alive, beloved. And we have um, 
de la soul and this is called watch out i can't make this up so y'all need to watch your back middles and fronts you know what i'm talking about like if, if you you have to protect yourself i don't care how spiritual you think you are there's people out here evil eyeing you and you don't even know you don't even know them let alone do you even know that they're doing it there's people that could be your neighbors there's people that could be your next door neighbor people that could be at the grocery store that you frequent and you don't even know them. They don't know you. They don't know your name. But they just can't stand you because of the way you carry yourself, because of your confidence, because of the car you drive, because of how pretty you are, because of how you dress, because of how you wear your makeup, how you, you know what I'm talking about? Like, they could just be mad. They just mad, son. Like, I don't know what to tell you. And that's why it's important to protect yourselves. It's important to protect yourself from evil eyes. It's important to protect yourself from spiritual parasites. That's why I was telling y'all. You know, anyone that may have watched that Scorpio reading, because um, this is a collective reading. Um, I typically read just for Scorpio, but I've been trying to incorporate readings for the collective, divine feminine and masculine, yin and yang, which is what this is here. But I've, I've mentioned this in that reading that you have to take spiritual baths frequently. When you are out in, in, out in public and you're bumping into people's energy and they're in your aura and your auric field, some of them things get attached to you, you bring them home, and then you're wondering why your ass waking up for two weeks in the middle of the night. You know what I'm talking about? Feeling a presence. Like, you never know. Even if somebody gifted you things, make sure that whoever you're receiving or accepting gifts from, their energy is right. That they got pure intentions. That they, you know what I'm talking about? Like, so you got to do your due diligence because there's obviously, uh, it's like a team of people, like, doing ritual work, invoking some shit part of my language but it's facts and we just said we, we I'm gonna show you the song because it was just playing and it's de la soul you know so somebody's pissed off that you have this soul connection with someone that they you know that they they feel threatened by because we see right here oh sorry sorry y'all all right come on now I need you to work there it is so it says de la soul and then look it says watch out I, I don't make this up you know what I'm talking about? I, I do not talk because I have lips. I'm a show and prove type of gal. So please watch your fronts and your backs and your sides and just be mindful. You know, like I always say, look alive. Look alive is like be aware. You know, don't sleep. Sleep is the cousin of death. You know what I'm talking about? So let's see what we got. All right, beloveds. So let's see what we got from the numerology deck. Beloveds. See this? Look at this. Completion. And that we have a card trying to show up. So somebody definitely is trying to change a the circumstance. They're trying to complete this cycle. And what did I say? That that old hateful cloaked person that's that has these hidden agendas, hidden motives, is trying to keep somebody stuck and stagnant. They literally trying to keep somebody stuck in this cycle, trying to have them repeating a cycle. And this is that person that spirit is telling you to watch out for because it's almost like collateral damage like well whomever you're attracting has a spiritual parasite has an energy vampire has a succubus a incubus that they're dealing with that they're trying to purge from that's why this clearance card came out twice that's why cauldron came out twice that's why ritual came out twice because somebody is doing some magic on that ass whoever's coming in or they could be doing magic on you because they learned about you they know about you somebody may have learned that somebody has these feelings this is something you can't hide you know what i'm saying somebody probably been searching through somebody's computer looking through their history they probably looked through an old phone saw all them text messages saw some old pictures like who knows but they feel threatened by this divine feminine though even if you're divine masculine, there's somebody that feels threatened by you, beloveds. Like I said, they're jealous of you just because of the way you do you. The way you wake up in the a.m., they they jealous. The way you carry yourself, the way you assert yourself, the confidence, the beauty, the attractiveness that you have. They don't realize that there's a backstory to that. They just see the success story that you are today. But spirit sees all. And that's why spirit is going to bless you regardless. That's why spirit was there watching your back. Spirit was like, I got you, beloved. I'm here. And this is someone I feel that is familiar with you. This is someone that is cooking up some ish. And that's why spirit is like, you need to start using your power because you have the power as well. We all have the power. We are all gods. We all are. You just got to know it. 
and some of us do and this is what they choose to do they choose to use their powers for bad whereas you choose your powers for good that's why you know those type of people they don't get very far because there's all type of karma that they have to pay for karmic debts and when you have a purpose and you are living out a soul's mission and a, and and spirit is like leading you on this path that you are meant to journey on and then there's someone behind the scenes trying to like interrupt that process oh trust and believe see this this is definitely a wish fulfillment remember that 26 we saw 17 17 in the beginning of the reading that was eight and I was saying you was like a wish fulfillment to someone and they were the same for you but this person is struggling with completing a cycle because they have a psycho on their ass so they can't clear up a cycle until they get the psycho out of here literally but this is someone that could you could have walked away from this person with this 26 love partnership you could have walked away maybe somebody wasn't really valuing you or respecting you or giving you what you felt you was deserving of the time the energy the respect and it could be because they were still attached to some sort of karmic codependent relationship it was just something toxic obviously because you have this cloak you have the containment you got the candle magic here so these two these cards wanted to jump out of my hand so we have 88 abundance this showed up in the um no that didn't show up that was manifestation part of me time out and then we have six love. Somebody's trying to keep this. See, a past love. This is someone you're familiar with. This 88. Somebody is literally needing to clear up a cycle so that this abundance, this blessings, all of the, the, the emotional fulfillment could, you know, start pouring in. You know, because the stagnant energy, the stale energy, that dark energy could be hindering or blocking or delaying the blessings that are meant to come in. The same 8-8 eight, eight that we saw in the beginning of the reading, two wish fulfillments. This is going to bring an abundance of love because this pink is the, that's associated with the heart chakra. And I feel like this person is wants to rush in towards you. This is, it could be someone that has cancer in their chart because I'm getting with the 16, the 7, that's the chariot. You know, I'm also feeling like there's a strong psychic connection intuitive connection maybe there's a lot of telepathic messages going back and forth when somebody's thinking of you all the time maybe you you know somebody has rented space in your mind or somebody's you've rented space in someone else's mind where there's just constant thoughts and those thoughts lead you know to you know attachments energy like you start picking up on someone's energy thinking of them dreaming of them we have rebirth here so there's an opportunity to resurrect something or to um to like rebuild reconnect here someone has witnessed your major transformation like you have transformed the beloved and we got these what is this let me put these on the bottom here and do a bang bang boogie of the cards so you've definitely gone through a major transformation like i was already picking up like you've mastered yourself because we had um master ace earlier singing beautiful for the divine feminine so you've definitely mastered yourself even if you're divine masculine but you've taken some sort of time out i was saying that there was some sort of separation no communication that 37 is telling me that there's some sort of ending and every ending denotes a new beginning someone wants to resurrect the connection reun reunite rebuild i heard and this is someone from the past they feel stuck this is that person that could have chose another option because the grass looked greener on the other side there was other you know superficially superficialities you know that may have influenced someone to go in another direction now they want to come back that's why they're trying to muster up the strength to communicate because it's almost like they got to eat their words you know but this is a lot of passion this 37 reduces to one and remember we saw passion and um then you also have this fertility here that that one is very felicious so this is giving me like a masculine energy this is someone who has become very aware of how they feel you know this is someone who's definitely been has become very aware i feel like with um life after death album um we got notorious big playing this is called the 10 crack commandments um but this is from the life after death i feel with this rebirth here this is exactly what life after death is it's transformation someone's going through a transformation that's what a karmic cycle teaches you a karmic lesson lesson prepares you uh for a rebirth for 
you know, you to uh, re-emerge, you know, pivots, you know, there's, there's shifts that's, that are taking place. And with this love, somebody is refusing to let someone go. They don't want to let them go. They're trying to keep them contained, stuck. They could be guilt tripping with 10 crack commandments. Somebody's commanding someone in some way. This is like someone is like literally trying to control another person. Because when you're commanding someone to do something or the 10 crack commandments, that word is sticking out. It's like you're trying to control. It's like you're trying to control perhaps the movements, the actions of a person. This is someone who is honestly like, up in their head about you the six is giving me like a lot of messages intuitively thinking of you dreaming of you daydreaming desiring to resurrect this connection because they realize you are the yin to their yang ladies and gentlemen you are the yang to their yin so give me one moment i'm, I'm so apart i'm sorry y'all my apologies so like i was saying you are like definitely the yin to you know, this divine masculine's yang or the yang to this divine feminine's yin. So that's a very beautiful energy. So let's see. Why is this uh, lady goddess here? Why is lady goddess feminine energy here for my divine yin and yang energy? We have self-discipline on the bottom of the deck. So this is what you all have been learning. This is why I was picking up earlier in the reading that energy of, you know, really, um, you know, going through a lot not just going through it but growing through a lot um we have this personal growth this was the first card i pulled out so someone has absolutely seen you ascend grow evolve mature you've mastered yourself you have come into alignment you're in attunement with yourself this is a beautiful energy that divine feminine knows her worth knows her value with personal growth i feel like as i said you have learned to uh stand very perpendicular in your square and this is an energy that you own. This is an energy also that exudes self-respect, uh, you know, spiritual strength, spiritual alignment, um, very powerful energy to uh, give off. It shows that you are in your crown chakra as well. I was also picking up that you are um, attracting things to you like wish fulfillment, abundance, blessings, uh, opportunities, people even. Uh, we have Boogie Down Productions and this is called I'm Still Number One. So in someone's eyes, you could be the one that got away. You could be their one because we was just speaking of like, you know, how there is an energy of um, – someone that is very attracted to you and this is someone that feels like you are the yin to their yang i'm hearing in my mind's eye like their better half and this right here is you know that passion that was intensifying and growing even in your absence even in that um time out or during that time out that duration of time where you are apart from another person i do feel like this person um their their the intensity of their feelings or even the realization of having these feelings has come into um you know it's 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 come uh very apparent to someone so this growth i feel like you have matured um i feel like you're also so strong uh spiritually amplified psychically that you could be picking up on this energy i feel like that's the growth that's a part of the power that spirit was also letting you know that you are in possession of you know, when you get to this level of divine femininity and divine masculinity, you literally uh, know how to, um, you know, hone those skills, gifts and talents, how to channel uh, that your inner uh, magi, your inner sorcerer, your inner alchemist. So it's like there's an energy here. And with this, I'm still number one. I feel like you're putting yourselves first as well, uh, because that divine fem feminine and divine masculine, they, they know their worth, you know, so you're prioritizing your needs opposed to uh, putting others before you. Remember, we saw boundaries uh, when we first you know, cut the uh, witch's wisdom deck. So it's like you, that was a part of the karmic lessons you've had to learn was how to implement the boundaries to have healthier relationships, to have stronger connections with people. You have to set boundaries, you know, because that is a sign and a show of self-love and self-care. 
uh, and more importantly, self-discipline, which is literally self-respect, self-integrity, self-dignity. So that's what, you know, standing erect is. And as I said, that divine feminine, divine masculine, they know their worth. You've grown. This is like you growing spiritually, mentally, emotionally, and physically, you know, um, into your own evolving, having a, a very profound, even love of yourself, uh, gaining a deeper, more profound understanding of yourself with this domestic harmony that flew out. I'm also feeling like this is bringing that person that is that wish fulfillment. This person is breaking free from a karmic connection because that 46 is the end. The tens always denote, you know, endings. It always denotes a cycle that's coming to a close, something coming full circle. And I feel with this 10, that reduces to one and that come, you know, with the seven reduces to eight. So this is someone that is absolutely manifesting in this physical reality as perhaps a wish fulfillment for you. This is someone that is, um, you know, perhaps that prayer that is being answered or perhaps that um, petition uh, that you have um, sent up into the ethers and it's being answered. I feel like somebody has been learning and growing um, in your absence, you know, as I said, perhaps they were connected in some sort of superficial relationship or connection. Maybe someone thought the grass would, would be greener on the other side. Um, and then they realized that they were kind of like in a codependent connection. Uh, co containment is like, you know, um, because at the time we was speaking of this containment card, um, 10 crack commandments was playing by, um, by notorious B.I.G., so I do feel like somebody was dealing with someone who's very controlling, someone very manipulative, someone very cunning, someone who has ulterior motives, someone very deceptive, someone hiding their hand. I just get that energy from this cloak. The back is turned. So this is someone who's really just very like, um, very sneaky. I just get a very sneaky energy. And, and, and that is why I feel like um, spirit is you know forcing whoever this person is that's dealing with that karmic whether it's you listening or someone that's coming in um for you um to clear house to clean home to purge to release to get rid of and once you do that then the blessings can come they can overflow you know the abundance this is like emotional you know satisfaction and joy i feel like something is being um you know delayed until you know, whatever needs to be cleared up, whatever karmic cycles, uh, whatever circumstances, relationships, when that's cleared up, then the abundance can flow. You know, the abundance of, you know, emotions can overflow from happiness and joy, um, from a new love coming into your life, from opportunities presenting themselves and, um, you know, from, from having some major breakthroughs. But I just feel a, a very strong energy that, you know, there is someone that is a wish fulfillment coming in that feels you're the yin to their yang, yang to their yin. Uh, this is someone that feels you are the one, like you're the one that got away. You are, you know, their cosmic companion. You're their twin flame. Um, they realize you're the one they love. Um, you're the one they have a lot of passion and a lot of fire and desire, attraction for. Um, that divine feminine, divine masculine is a very attractive energy. So you literally are in an energy where you are attracting, you know, what you want to you, what you deserve to you. And um, we have um, cool C and this is called glamorous life. So I do feel like, you know, with this energy here, some of you all could have been like students sitting at the feet of the elders. Um, you could have been students uh, working under master teachers, maybe even a student, um, you know, of a parent, a grandparent, a grand uncle, a grand auntie. Um, maybe even, you know, sitting in front of your altars, dedicating that time to connect with your ancestors, deities, your spiritual team. Um, you know, this is, you know, the number of the Hierophant. So this is all about studentship, learning. Uh, this is about, you know, mastering your crafts, even sharpening your swords. Uh, this is also associated uh, with the Hierophant. It's associated with the throat chakra. And those are both uh, very important um, in, you know, discovering or learning to express yourself, learning to uh, emote, you know. So perhaps there is someone that could be, um, you know, trying or going to a practitioner, trying to get some sort of spell work done. 
uh, with this self-discipline. I feel strongly like because you've taken the time out to grow and develop your spiritual strength, whatever this magic is that is uh, being attempted on you, I feel like it is not going to um, affect you. It's not going to penetrate. I feel like a lot of you all definitely um, need to do, you know, some sort of spiritual uh, cleanses, purges. You need to uh, start banging on your bells, your chimes, your drums. Um, you need to start, you know, um, you know, using your singing bowls just to transmute the energy, the frequency in your in your home. If you don't have things like um, chimes or bells maybe i'll start utilizing uh those to open up the reading and to close the reading um just to transmute the energy to free you know the to change the frequency of the reading as well uh because you know this is what this energy is about it's about utilizing the elements around you uh that five is the hierophant and the hierophant is very wise he's connected to the ancient wisdom same as like the high priestess so this is really you know that that elder that has mastered themselves that can now um teach teach you how to master yourself so you've been in a very studious energy as i said maybe you've been reading a lot of material maybe you've been studying maybe you've been taking some classes um reiki healing maybe some of you are um studying under shamans maybe some of you are thinking about ayahuasca uh or um uh what do you call it um uh what is what is it like uh psychedelics um, that a lot of people utilize that as a means to tap into their higher selves um, to figure out who they are. So there's people who go to like ayahuasca retreats. Uh, I know a, like, a lot of people go to like, uh, what is it, Peru. Um, some people go to Mexico to do that. So maybe some of you are thinking about doing that. Maybe some of you have already done that. But I just feel strongly like um, you are divinely protected. So it's like, you know, just know this because that's what that power card is. You definitely have the power. You possess the power um, to protect yourself. And we do have Prodigy and Alchemist, and the name of the song is called Death Sentence. So someone has it out for you. With Death Sentence, um, you know, death is nothing to fear, you know, because uh, as we saw earlier, you, you, you are made to reincarnate. We all reincarnate. Energy cannot be transferable. We all transmute, and you know, um, into other forms we all reincarnate i should say into um you know into other beings forms so other uh energy you know so this right here somebody could really be trying to um inflict i just hear it, inflict pain um and 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 cause but i feel like they're going to be uh tried and convicted for their acts you know, so it's like whatever they're doing, they think it's behind the scenes. They think it's a low profile, like nobody sees them, you know, because this person thinks they're very, you know, very cunning. You know, they think they're hidden. But I feel like, you know, this person isn't as hidden as they believe because you have guardians protecting you, you know. So this person that thinks they are so, you know, uh, you know, so hush about what they're doing, their, their, their malice, their intention. They think they're so hidden, this hidden enemy. It's like, nah, you know, your angels, your guardians are peeping all of this. And there is an animal totem on here, the frog. So it's like, you know, th this is like you got to pay attention to how you feel intuitively. But this is also about you being protected from things that um, that are potential threats. You know, including someone doing some black magic, voodoo work, hoodoo work, spell work, you know, trying to bind, trying to contain, trying to block something that's absolutely meant for you. Because this is the heart of the matter, it looks like. Well, not really, because there's there's literally six cards in the deck. If there was an extra card, then that would be um, not necessarily the heart, heart of the matter. I think, yeah, the lady goddess would be the heart of the matter. So this is your energy, even if you're masculine. So you are the heart of the matter. The heart of the matter is love yourselves, take care of yourselves, and don't look back. Um, anything that doesn't feel right or sit right in your spirit, don't go against that. Trust your inner gumption and your inner wisdom. C trust that inner compass because that's your higher self guiding you, you know, instructing you on which direction to go. And we have um, Nas rhyming quiet Nagus. So somebody's very hush, very quiet, 
you know, secretly plotting, planning, you know, trying to strategize some sort of attack, doing magic behind the scenes, you know, but this person is going to receive karma, you know, because they don't realize how powerful you are. When I see this 41, that, that shows me that you are seeking a higher level of knowledge and wisdom and understanding of yourself, you know, both spiritually and emotionally, mentally, you know, so you could be, as I said, you could be sitting at the feet of the elders and they could be instructing you. You know, you could be dedicating more time sitting in front of your altars, building that relationship, connecting with your ancestors, your deities, and they could be the ones guarding you and protecting you from spiritual attacks, from, you know, any type of um, attack, psychological. These are people who are very quiet, very calculated, because we got Nas saying quiet negus. All right. And this is from the Nostradamus album. So it's like you are absolutely very... Um, very powerful in your ability to see but you know what i'm saying to see what's hidden beneath the veil so even though this person is is trying to hide their hand or trying to hide their intent spirit is saying that you are very powerful in seeing right through this this act this illusion you know nostradamus was um was said to predict the future and so many of you are seers, you know, you may have crystal balls, you may be scryers, you may be able to scry, you may be tarot card readers, you could be channelers, psychics, you know, maybe some of you all use magic as well, you're magicians, alchemists, that's nothing more than, you know, like that divine feminine masculine just kind of channeling the energy that the universe is, is, you know, gifting you with, so you're co-creating with source, if anything. So it's like you can co-create with source. So spirit is like, you know, you got the power. So utilize it. You know, you got the power. So why is candles here for my divine masculine and feminine? The collective may have a message of love and light spirit. Thank you, spirit. Bottom of the deck change. Someone's trying to change something, trying to change an outcome. And with this, this is telling me to listen to the song that's playing. And we still have Nas rhyming quiet negus. So this is someone very quiet, very hush, trying to bring conflict because this number 32, I'm thinking of like the five of wands, the five of swords, someone in a very competitive energy, trying to win at all costs, trying to cause confusion so they could be trying to gaslight, trying to do, this is somebody very calculated, very, very cunning, very, you know, just meticulous with, with the devilishment, you know what I'm talking about? Like this is somebody like really like doing something. You know, sitting and, and sitting up in front of, an, uh, you know, some, some can like I'm hearing reverse, reverse candles or spell, like something to to um, to block you. Because remember, we just had self-discipline, which was, um, if I'm not mistaken, 14 or 41. And that was also five. So this person's trying to block like your spiritual um power like they're trying to block you they, but this the only way they think they can do it is by um you know perhaps doing it privately secretly quietly so this could be like as i said like a hidden enemy you know somebody that's in very close comfort and i feel like if you just listen to your higher self you know, it's the universe will communicate. Even if you like light candles in your home, you know, candles communicate to you. Everything communicates. The flames, you know, you just call upon the energy, you know, to to give you the message that's meant for you. You know, tap it. That's why you have to be like very grounded. You know, you have to be grounded in order to receive the information that's meant for you, the outformation that's meant for you, the downloads, the transmissions, the divine interventions. But this is like, you know, even music communicates. Some of you all can be clairaudient. Some of you all can be musicians. There could be messages literally in the songs, just like it was when it said quiet and a goose, you know, there was another song told about watch them, you know, then we had death sentence. Those are all like forewarnings. Those are all songs that are like, warning you of potential threats those are very kind of like you know even the song that you know commandments the 10 crack commandments you know life and death like there's a lot of referencing of death so this is somebody trying to cause some sort of ending 
for you or so, somebody trying to cause some sort of change, conflict? Have you conflicted even mentally, emotionally? You know, I also feel like communication is going to change something. It's going to change the direction of a relationship. It's going to change the way you're thinking about someone, the way you handle a situation. Like there's some changes that are taking place with this ritual here. It says invocation. So perhaps with you all, maybe through that time that you're devoting in front of your altars, spirit is giving you some downloads on how to change the circumstance where this person is trying to cause the conflict. You know, this these this individual who's obviously in a competition because you are, you know, very beautiful, very successful. Like I said, it's like what you you don't look like what you've been through. You 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 appear to be doing so well that people don't realize there's a backstory. You know what I'm talking about? Like so these people could be like they could be some folks kind of teaming up against you. I, I automatically thought like your job, your place of employment, even your neighbors, like these are people, you know, that are, are definitely threatened by you and i was picking up people that you could see on a daily ba daily basis and not realize they carry this type of contentment and malice you know and hatred because it's pure unadulterated hatred that would have you doing some sort of like ritual work in the first place you must be like a low you know vibrational being you must be an entity yourself just a old low vibrational being to try to you know inflict pain upon another person or trying to manipulate someone else's energy because of your insecurities that's a you issue, not somebody else's issue. Deal with your issues and stop projecting. Check your ego because that's all ego based. You know what I'm talking about? Like we, you are made in God's image, which means you are God in other words. So stand up and be God. Stop looking at the goddesses and gods around you and hating them for the work that they're putting in. We already see this divine feminine, divine masculine, they done worked for this. Like with all the praise that you see them receiving, all the blessings you see them, they worked for it. Because it says personal growth. This is like blood, sweat, and tears, beloved. So if you sitting here hating on another person, you know what I'm talking about? Because of the work, obvious work that they did to ascend. Like this person that went from the root to the freaking tutor, like all the way up to the, the to the chakra, the, the, the crown chakra. You went from the root to the crown chakra, like literally, you know? So it's like, don't, don't, don't hate. Don't hate. Learn. You know, realize you could be that too. Just do the work. It requires work. You can't fake this till you make this. You got to actually do the work. But you can speak those things as if you have it. That's another way to, you know, to to uh, trick the mind, to reprogram the mind and speak as if you have the things that you desire, even your healing, whatever it is. But it's like to be sitting here and, and teaming up with other old low vibrational energies, like check your circle. If you got people encouraging your bad behavior, then you need a new group of friends. You need a new group of people to be around because these, these, these people are going to lead you to self-destruction. You're headed for self-destruction. That's literally what I heard loud in my mind's eye. BDP, like this is not taking you anywhere. So if there are people that are doing that, I'm telling you, you know, the changes they're trying to in, you know, inflict upon you in a negative way and a neg with a negative intention, they're going to reap what they sow, beloved. That's just laws of karma, you know, and that's why the seven and this 46 is here also, because whatever they dishing out, they're going to get it back tenfold or infinitely. I heard infinitely, you know, because when you try to mess with the divine feminine and masculine, you know, they, they, they already have, you know, a purpose here, which is to raise the vibration of the collective. And then when you have people teaming up, to try to, you know, to block, you know, this blissing or dim someone's light just because of jealousy and envy, you know, then, then they're going to be dealt with, period. Universe is going to deal with them. But this change is going to happen regardless, regardless. This is what they don't realize. Change is going to happen. Change is inevitable. Change is all divine anyway. See that? You're going to have a happy ending regardless. I literally just said that. And look. I said, you're going to have a happy ending regardless. <laughs> Change is happening regardless. These people are frustrated and miserable. And we got Nas's like, and this is the I Am album. So all of your I Am affirmations, like I said, you speak what you want as if you have it already. So you don't sit there and pray to your angels and your ancestors saying, please, do you think maybe you can, um, like, thank you. Thank you, spirit, for 
my new job. Thank you, Spirit, for moving me into that home. Thank you, Spirit, for placing me in a position where I have the, an amazing work environment. I have a supportive team, people who are kind, human, empathic, sensitive. You know what I'm talking about? Like, ask for what you want. Thank you for my brand new car. Thank you for blessing me with a 750 credit. You know, like, speak as if you have it. You know, a lot of you all, you all do use those I am affirmations. And that could be the reason why you was able to get yourselves out of those difficult circumstances. Because when you speak in a lack, you know, with lack language, you know, when you constantly woe is me and self-loathing, trust me, you're going to have more of the same. You're just going to, that's why you have people who just, they can't figure out that they're the ones creating all of the drama, all of the, you know, all of the negativity that's happening in their lives because of the way they speak about their circumstances, the way they speak about themselves. Oh, I'm broke. You know, I can't find a job. I, oh, nothing ever good happens to me. Like, you know, I'm talking about like that, like who's sitting around listening to that? Like uh, you, that right there is the lowest of the, you cannot speak to yourself like that. You cannot speak about your circumstance like that because guess who's listening? The universe. You are what you say you are. You putting that out in the universe. Spirit's like, okay, bring more of the can'ts <laughs> for this person. Like literally you got to change the way you speak. You know, you got to reprogram your brain. It's good even sometimes you know, to, to do things different. Like if you're constantly thinking with the right brain, try to use your left brain. Like I tried for a long time, like, um, for like a month or two, I was just like, just so I can like kind of regenerate my cells in my brain. I was using my left hand, my left brain, you know, I was doing, um, brushing my teeth with my left hand opposed to my dominant hand, you know, and just like getting used to using this hand more, you know, and and I will tell you, like it literally, like you 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 feel you feel more alert. I felt alert. I felt more cohesive. Like you know, I had clarity. So it's really really important to challenge yourselves. You know, reading is really good. I told myself I just ordered a bunch of books, and I'm gonna literally start like just soaking everything in. I'm gonna be like a little sponge, and I'm just gonna because information is infinite knowledge is infinite no one knows everything no one because the, the information is just so it's infinite <laughs> so it's like there's there's always something to learn there's always something to um to expound on and so that's what you i, f I just feel strongly like it, utilize that time wisely to to master yourself you know if there's certain areas you always wanted to investigate and delve deeper into then do it. You know, now is the time. Now. All you have is now. And there goes this new beginning on the bottom of the deck. So somebody's literally trying to interrupt some sort of new beginning, new opportunity, just as I suspected. I was feeling like somebody was hating on some opportunity that is coming in for you. And it could be in regards to this um, a, a, a career opportunity, you know, maybe a business deal I was picking up job you know you like people at your job you know people who are you know just jealous and envious maybe you have um recently uh been promoted or whatever it is there's some folks trying to interfere with your finances with your livelihood your well-being and that 12 that 48 reduces to 12 that's three so these are people jealous of the you know the success that you have you know, the power you've been able to manifest on your own. Look at that. Didn't I say karmic completion? And look what we have that flew out uh, with the financial discipline. Completion. So someone is needing to, um, as I said, like there, there's this completion. Somebody needs to wrap up a cycle, clear up this karmic cycle. Somebody is trying to contain someone that's trying to wrap up a cycle so that they could get to their beloved. Because it's obvious that somebody is longing for someone they got this passion, this fire, this desire, 
you know what I'm saying, this burning desire, because, this, you know, remember, we had the flames on the passion, and then we see the flames there, so this is someone that feels like you are the twin flame, you're a cosmic companion, a soulmate, like, you're the divine feminine, divine masculine, or the yin to their yang, yang to their yin, this is what they are dealing with, they're dealing with somebody doing magic, voodoo, hoodoo, juju, love spells, whatever, binding spells, to keep someone contained, they're trying to wrap up this cycle, they're trying to complete Whatever this karmic lesson is, they're trying to complete this cycle, but there is someone very vindictive, very hateful that will refuse it. They even having people like, you know, team up with them to, you know, to like really enforce whatever their intentions are with this magic. So that's why spirit is like sitting here watching all of this go down, you know, because, you know, you, you have to realize you have the power as well. And you also have to, you know, call upon your guides, your angels. You have to call upon your spirit team to protect you, you know. And you have to, like, you know, because there's some folks that's trying to get real froggy with you. Like, so you got to be, like, on your, your you know, you got to look alive, beloved. Like I said, you know, this, this cat, this animal totem, the cats are very, very intuitive. They're impervious to threat. Spirit is telling you, you're, you're, you're prepared. You're ready. You're ready for whatever comes your way. But you have to be aware that there's a threat to to be able to, you know, protect yourselves. That's why spirit is on alert, like protecting you. And we have um, Cameron. And the name of this album is called Come Home With Me. So someone's definitely trying to get someone to to return back to them, come home with them. Because we had, a, you know, earlier we had... Um, some of you may be res residents of New York. I know that's my, my hometown. That's my, my, my birthplace, you know? Um, but yeah, there's, there's definitely, well, that's my, um, I was born in, um, Massachusetts, but I was raised from, uh, six weeks old to, um, you know, in Bronx, in the Bronx. So, I literally sometimes just be mixing it up, but I was born in Massachusetts and raised all of my adult life until I was whatever, you know, I don't even remember what age, but, um, yes. So some of you may be in New York. Um, maybe some of you all live in Harlem cause this is Cameron. He's from Harlem, but I definitely feel like this karmic completion. Someone is definitely trying to hold somebody back trying to block someone from completing a cycle. That's why this clearance was the first card out the gate. This is the same card that showed up along with karmic completion that showed up as well. Somebody has to boss up and stand in their power. I was saying somebody had to muster up the strength and the courage in order to do this because whatever they're dealing with, they're dealing with somebody doing some real magic, some real juju, some real, you know, some real spell work on them. And if you're not in tune and aware, you know, then, you know, they can manipulate your energy and you could be doing things that you don't even want to do, you know, and this is a divine masculine because we got this man holding a heart. So what did I say? Y'all, you divine feminines is just looking so fine. This person can't keep their eyes off you. This person watches you. This card, I believe, also showed up in the Scorpio reading, this man holding a heart. So somebody has been holding something very, you know, dear They've been holding you, this connection, very dear, very near and dear to their heart. This is someone that's been holding on to you. This is somebody whose feelings have intensified. This man holding the heart is like they, they, they're willing, you know, to wear their heart in their sleeve this time around. Last time you saw them, they wasn't as vulnerable, as open. See, they want to take action. Remember, I saw 1717, that's eight. This person wants to take action because they realize you are the one. You know, we just had BDP ramen still number one. You're the one. You're the wish fulfillment. You're the one they want, but they got to get themselves in alignment. You know, this is giving me like the the um, chariot also, because, you know, in the chariot and traditional tarot, it has the um, that yin yang energy of the black and the white horse. You know, so I just feel like somebody is trying to find balance so that they can take action. You know, they're also trying to get up out of their head because I'm getting like the eight of swords. So in order for them to take action, they have to be clear. They got to be level minded. They got to be, you know, free of this, this, you know, negative ass energy trying to, to, um, this enter this energy here. They got to be free of this. That's like sabotaging, you know, their situation, manipulating their energy. Like I said, this is the type of person that throws a rock rise and hides their hand. 
you know, somebody that has ulterior motives. This person is literally like watching you from a distance. And that's why I was picking up like somebody discovered, you know, the other person, the person that this, this, this divine feminine or masculine that's trying to come towards you. It's like they've discovered their feelings, these feelings that they have. And that's why they over here cooking up all these spells, trying to bind and, you know, block and reverse and break up. And they, they're miserable. They're miserable as hell. And that's why this person is like, get me the hell out of here. You know, because they can feel that energy. I'm telling you, whoever you're attracting, they're on the same level of being just as intuitive, you know, just as in tune. You know, because they wouldn't be the divine masculine or feminine, you know, if that weren't so. So the same healing and growing you've been doing, trust and believe, that divine counterpart has been doing the same. Because you all mirror one another energetically. And the more work you do on yourself, even if, you know, you're the one that's of, um, you know, that has this awareness of who you are and you have gone through this major transformation. It's like you activate and trigger that person. You know what I'm talking about? So let's see what we got coming and going out going on for the divine collective spirit. Let's see what we got coming and going out going on for the divine collective. Thank you, spirit. All right, I'm going to cut the deck. And so we have Capone and Noriega, and this is called Illegal Life. Yeah, like I said, some of y'all have some very questionable backgrounds, but you've made it through. It's like it's been a war. It's been spiritual warfare, but you've like you've literally changed for the better. You've grown because remember we had um, it was a song. What was that song talking about? It was N.W.A. Boys in the Hood. So y'all could have been out there just ripping and running the streets, hugging the block, just out there, you know. And you've changed. So look at this third chakra, Archangel Shamuel. I believe he also came out in the Scorpio reading. And so this is 37. So this is somebody, like I said, that has to muster up the strength and the courage. Because that solar plexus is literally like the sun that shines within. And the sun provides illumination. It provides clarity. The sun is also very powerful energy. And it's a life force. So it's like somebody has to realize, you know, that something could potentially be like, you know, kind of sucking their life force from them. That's why there's a need to clear, to purge, to release, you know, to let this energy go. Because all that's doing is, is, is blocking blissings. You know, this is that person with this 37 time out. They're taking that time out to reflect. You know, the solar plexus, like I said, is the sun that shines within. And the stomach and the brain act as one. You know, it literally is going to, you know, alert you of, you know, what's not serving you. You know, you'll feel something in your gut. You'll have gut instinct, you know, and you have intuition. So those things, you know, is is I feel what your person is listening to. As I said, this is somebody that could have very well, you know, even if this is your energy, could have done something that was completely against the whole master plan or the, you know, against the, um, you know, the, the align or against the journey that someone should have been on. They, they had to learn the hard way. It's almost like somebody had to fall in order to get back up and understand like, okay, I can't do that again. It's like, it's a light, it's a learning lesson. It's, it's something to grow on, you know what I'm saying? It's a growing pain in other words. And because that, that growing pain is discovered and realized and understood and they finally say oh I got to clear the cycle in order to you know receive the blessing in order for the blessing to come in it's like now somebody's owning it now they're like taking that that power and they're owning it right and we have black sheep and it's called the choice is yours so they're making this choice they're trusting their gut instinct we all have you know, free will. And so this person is making the decision. They're choosing free will. They're not allowing somebody to, you know, control them and manipulate their energy anymore. They're clearing themselves and purging themselves of this energy because it's a dark energy. It's shadow energy. You know, this karmic completion is very indicative of, you know, some very dark shadow work that needed to be done. And that's why this broom is here because it's about ridding getting rid 
of that energy, that block. What did I say about karma dharma? You know, this is like the justice in this deck. And so this is saying that, like, there is someone that you could have moved away from. There's definitely distance because I'm getting from the six. I'm feeling like there's a lot of, mess you know, messages, telepathic. It's a lot of intuition. It's a lot of dream activity. There's a lot of thoughts, you know. Somebody lives in someone else's mind. But someone is also under some sort of contract. So they could have been, like I said, stuck in another relationship because we have the six love and they feeling very contained, stuck, stagnant. They feeling stagnancy. They are feeling controlled. They are feeling like they're under somebody else's command. And it is because they are. Somebody is definitely, definitely being some sort of like, you know, um, like spiritual parasite, energy vampire in their life. And this is somebody that... The contract is up because someone's realizing they have a choice, uh, especially according to black sheep. The choice is yours. You could get with this or you could get with that. Somebody's absolutely telling themselves like, look, I need to make a decision here. I need to make a decision. I need to choose now because I don't feel this with this crazy mofo that I'm with. You know what I'm talking about? Like they, they feel this passion with you. They don't feel that passion with someone else. But there's a time out between the two of you. But this passion, like I said, it hasn't it hasn't um, decreased. If anything, it has it has intensified. It has gotten stronger. If anything, they they continue to think about you. But there's a lot of passion here. But someone is definitely, you know, ready to, um, you know, break some sort of contract. This could be like you know a divorce if someone's living. With another person, this could be like breaking the lease, getting out of a lease. This is like separation. This is like the jig is up, contract is over, ripping it up, shredding it and saying, I'm out of here. You know, this time out, somebody has taken the necessary time to delve within. That one is awareness associated with the Magi. I, Magi Nation. The imagination, someone's thinking of you, someone's dreaming of you, someone's visualizing you, someone's imagining being with you you live in this person's mind or they live in yours this is vice versa so let's see what we got coming in going out going is a one and that six is also associated with the first eye so there's definitely like i said a lot of messages back and forth you know let's see what we got coming in going out going on why is the fertility and 37 time out here for my beloved collective Thank you, spirit. Look at that. Anxiety. You live in someone's mind. Anxiety. Didn't I mention the eight, you know, um, of swords, which is pretty much like somebody up in their head, constantly thinking, ruminating, pining, just anxious. And this is because, you know, there's fears associated with stepping outside of one's comfort zone. There's also fears because someone is causing someone to feel like they are, you know, to remain with them. Because they're under someone else's command because their energy is being manipulated. But they need to muster up the strength and the courage and the wise dome and, and bust that dope move. This 18 is giving me like the nine of swords. They're taking a moment, taking that little moment to pause, to reflect, you know, and I feel like there's going to be some epiphanies there's definitely some downloads we got the door to romance so this person what did i say they're realizing they love you it's written all over the cards like i can't even make this ish up at this point and we got um slum village this is called tear it down so they know they have to destroy when you tear something down it sounds like they got to destroy so they can rebuild you know maybe they tore down you know maybe something was um destroyed within a partnership and they took some time out to reflect, you know, because when I think of tear down, I'm, I, I don't know why I was thinking of like the tower, you know, even though the tower is struck, you know, it's, it's struck by the divine because the divine is literally, you know, watching all of this foolery go on and there's no one listening or paying attention to the red flags. There's no one seeing all of... <laughs> The, the forewarnings, they don't hear the, the, the like, it's like, so the, the divine is like, okay, you don't see, I'm going to just knock the tower down. 
And that's why, you know, so now there's this anxiety because the truth has been revealed. Someone is really afraid of the truth. And the truth is that they're stuck in something they don't want to be in. And they have feelings for someone that is far away. This is what they know they have to do. The world is here. This is someone that's at a distance from you, someone you've created distance with, someone who's distanced themselves. But this is someone who's also stuck in a relationship with someone who could be manipulating them or they could be self-sabotaging in, in self-deceit, like deceiving themselves. You know, with this six love, somebody got stuck with, you know, a very um, devious karmic Somebody that does magic spells, somebody that does love spells, somebody that is like manipulating their energy. What they want to do is to end this. The world is really about, like I said, you know, going through enormous change, having some sort of startling mem metamorphosis, you know, having an evolved perspective. You know, this is like literally learning and growing from the experiences that you have endured. And now there's this aha, this epiphany. The 29 reduces to 11, you know, and that 11 reduces to 2. And the 2 is the high priestess. So now someone has become aware because, like I said, your person will mirror you because you're both divine, feminine, and masculine. So this person is very psychic. That's the power. Someone has the power to see through the illusion. Someone realizes perhaps somebody been cooking up some damn witch's brew and feeding them this ish, and it's been... Like they've been having some sort of spiritual purge. Like they've been noticing they've been getting sick. I literally had um, a sister uh, communicate with me about her experience at a known witch's house. You know, I, I don't know what would, you know, possess her to even eat or drink from someone that she knows is a witch. But she said she drank a little sip of wine. The wine was already pre-poured. And I don't believe in that. I want to see you pour the wine. I want to see you take the cork out of the wine, take the wrapping off, and then we pour the wine. But she drank some of that wine and she thought she was going to die. And so this is what this person may have discovered. Somebody was doing something, feeding them something that made them very sick. And when they really started looking at themselves, they realized like every time they eat, maybe they started doing the math, doing, you know what I'm saying? Things started adding up, doing, you know what I'm saying? Putting two to two together. Like every time I eat, I feel this way. Every time I drink something from this person's house, every time I'm in this person's presence, my energy jolts. You know what I'm saying? You got to pay attention to that. You got to pay attention to the cycles, to the rhythms of your body, to the way your body communicates with you because it will let you know, period. It will let you know. And so somebody may have discovered something. Somebody that was like, you know, probably, you know, used to going after the the, the, the little pretty young things, the PYTs or the fine brothers with the, you know, the nice cars and the, you know, fat wallets, you know, it was going after all of the, the superficialities. And then they realized they, they were stuck with, with a witch, with a warlock, with some sort of, you know, dark entity that was like literally controlling them, controlling their energy, trying to control them, trying to manipulate their energy. So there's something that snapped. I feel like because, as I said, because you are so in tune, I feel like whatever work you was doing, it literally helped your significant other, your divine masculine, your divine feminine. It triggered them or activated them, you know, because this six is also telling me like th this person is already psychic, whether this is you or someone else. They're already psychic. And somebody was used to playing mind games because that 29 and that six is giving me eight. So they started to realize like, look, I'm self-sabotaging. I got to start paying closer attention. Here goes the angel of balance. So the angel started stepping in. Like I said, angels see everything. Your spirit team sees all. Universe sees all. Karma, Dharma. So this 48, yet again, this is the divine feminine because that 48 reduces to 12, which reduces to 3. And that's the name or the number of the empress. So this is what happened. Like I said, you started to come into alignment, come into attunement started to come into discover what your life purpose path was passions was you started to realize your your worth your value you started to better treat yourself started to nurture feed and love yourself care for yourself and that makes you more attractive you know and that's also why these wishes these blessings are coming in because your angels have assisted you with with finding that 
equilibrium, that balance again. And here you have the angel of balance. I mean, the angel of love. So you got 48, 49. So this angel of love, whoever, whatever this person is doing to, you know, um, almost to, because I'm getting four and nine, you know, because the 32 and the 49 reduces to nine. So I'm definitely picking up that there was someone who is sitting, you know, kind of sitting quietly and conjuring up some stuff just like this cloaked person would do. You know, this is this is someone very calculated, like I said, you know, when you think of the um, the number nine, that is the uh, hermit, you know, and so this hermit is kind of sitting, like I said, calculating. But this angel of love is here to transmute all of this negativity, all of this hate that this person is trying to conjure up. This angel is here to transmute all of that. And to bring love, to bring light to the situation, and to bring balance, to restore the balance. You know what I'm talking about? Like, so this is somebody who is very, um, I feel like they are just a, a, a very vile individual, toxic individual. You got another angel here, Archangel Raphael, healing. So you got angels that are, like I said, the guardian card came out for a reason. And that's why. You got Archangel Shamuel, Archangel Raphael. You have the angel of balance and the angel of love. So whatever this person is trying to, whatever rift this person is trying to cause in your life, it's like you are protected, beloved. And like I said, this person is trying to get act all froggy. So they're trying to come in all unexpectedly or trying to like... um catch you off guard even and that's why they're like you know summoning other people other entities to work against you but Archangel Raphael is here yet again to transmute all of that hate all of that negativity all of that 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 negativity and that 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 um that evil energy they turning it transmuting it into positivity this 38 is 11 so I feel like I'm hearing love conquers all. So that's why spirit was telling you to, you know, to focus on yourself, you know, to not get sidetracked, but definitely protect yourself. You are protected, too. I don't know. You know, regardless of what these people are doing, we already saw you're going to still have, you know, this happy ending. And we see here the daughter romance is still going to open up because your person is obviously going to complete this cycle. They're going to complete it. They're going to wrap it up. Maybe money has been something that has had them bound to this person. Because remember, we saw a contract. So maybe there was some sort of contractual agreement, whether that was, um, you know, a marriage certificate. Um, maybe there was, like I said, um, sharing of apartments, sharing of uh, bills, goods, cars. Um, you know, so they had to do some work to get themselves out of that contract, you know. And so that's what this angel Raphael is here to do. Fourth chakra represents the heart chakra. So someone is realizing their love is elsewhere. Their love is elsewhere. And this eight, that 48 again, like I said, that reduces to 12. And that nine, so that nine and that three is the divine feminine yet again. Because that reduces to 12 again. So that, that three, this is, they, they realize they love you. This is what they realize. Because that 48, let me show you what I see. This reduces to 12. And that three and that nine also reduce to 12. So that 12 reduces to three. So these people are trying to come together, you know, to try to block something um, that is rightfully yours this is like written in the stars archangel Raphael is here because love is you're deserving of love this door is meant to open for you of love this door of blossoming abundance is here yet again because remember you had the abundance card that flew out this is what these individuals are trying to block and it's nothing more than jealousy and envy even if you're a divine f masculine you know what I'm talking about like this is what they are jealous of of the fact that you have love, you have 
you know, um, abundance. And they're trying to block that. And this isn't just any old type of love. This is somebody that's going to have the key to your heart. This is that person that's going to, you know, they, they, they're going to quench your thirst. <laughs> or vice versa. Like, this is like synergy, chemistry. You can't make that up. You cannot. And there's this journey. And that same two. See that? This person is having to make this decision. As I said, with that two here, they are making the decision to leave that behind. And they're going to travel to see you or they're going to start, you know, making some plans to go after what it is they truly desire, what they truly want, who, with whom they truly want to be with. They, they, they about to make that move, you know, they about to make the move. It's about to happen. I'm even getting with this seven and this 46, I'm getting like the eight of wands. You know, this is like incoming. This person is coming in quickly because they, they, they have found balance. They found the answers. You know, they, they have ended the cycle. You know, they're, they're, they're prepared to come towards you. They're out of their head because the cycle is, you know, complete. And we have, um, and this is Method Man and Ghostface. And this is on um, the Stretch and Bobito show. Yeah, so, you know, whoever this is, I do feel like, you know, for um, for most of you all, this person is kind of like strategizing a way to come in. This is somebody that, you know, is, you know either you ghosted them or they could have ghosted you. Um, but I definitely feel like there is going to be some communication that you will have um very soon because i just feel like somebody is, i'm here and they can't take it anymore like <laughs> they can't take it anymore like they they sick of being up in their head it's driving them crazy like they literally can't take it anymore that's what i'm truly hearing in my mind's eye so i'm trying to get some cards because i want to pull some actual tarot cards to um yeah we're going to use these let me get make sure i got them all thank you spirit and the bottom of the deck, look at that. Wasn't I saying y'all was the star? And that's number 17. Remember, we saw 1717 17 in the beginning of the reading. So this is definitely someone that thinks of you as a wish fulfillment, or this is a wish coming true. We just saw the door to romance, and we saw blossoming abundance. And we also had this 8-8, eight, eight, which is 17, um, 17, which are the two numbers that showed up. So both of you all are going to be very fulfilled emotionally, um, just satisfied, you know, emotionally. I feel like there's a sense of like camaraderie, teamwork, you know, building an alliance with someone. See that? I didn't even see the 10 of coins. I was just picking up like somebody that's coming in that means business. Somebody that's going to be your rock. Look at that. Look at this. This is like goals. This is like what you've been praying for, hoping for. And that's why this person, because they know how intense, they know how real this is. They could literally be dealing with like some sort of devil spawn, like a, a freaking like dark entity that's trying to block this because they see just how special this connection is. You got the Knight of Swords here with the Ten of Pentacles. This is literally like a family unit. This is like having a solid partner, having someone that's willing to compromise and build. Didn't I say the Six of Cups is coming because we have the Six here. So it's like this person is looking back. You see how he's looking back at, and the sun is there. So it's, it's like they're realizing their son is gone. Their days are dark. Their life is, is, isn't as happy and fulfilling when you're not there. And that's why they know, like, I got to end this so that I can go and, you know, find, you know, my divine feminine, my divine masculine. It's like they left you for something that they thought was going to be greater. And it just simply wasn't the case. You know, that's why I was picking up somebody that, you know, superficialities, you know, going after the pretty girl or the handsome guy or the ones with the money and the cars and all of the material, but they don't have nothing. Like it's just like an empty vessel, nobody there. So this is the energy here, very defensive. This is establishing boundaries, guarded, very protective of your energy because you have trust issues, according to Drake. So that's what you've been doing. You've been just like kind of protecting yourself in a protective bubble. You've created a safe space, a safe haven, you know. 
And that's why there's this energy of like, I was picking up like there's no communication. We just had Method Man and Ghostface on a stretch arm strong and Bobito show. So it's like somebody got ghosted. Somebody got put on time out, literally. And that person that got put on time out is now up in their head because they realized like they made, they made a boo-boo, you know. They made a boo-boo because this is what they're feeling. This is what they're thinking about, that connection, you know. This connection is up in their head. This is why it's on top of the, the, the you know, the dome. <laughs> They're thinking, they're thinking very, very, um, very long and hard about the connection they had with you. And, you know, they're, they're comparing it to what they currently have. You know, it don't matter how long you've been with somebody. What matters is the chemistry you have with the, with the person. You could be with somebody for 20 years and then you meet the right one and y'all know each other for two seconds in this lifetime. Because obviously there is a pre-existing relationship that you've had from a former lifetime that's why you feel like you know them that's why the connect connection and the chemistry is so strong so intense but it's like you could literally be with someone for 20 years and they're not the right fit for you and then you meet someone for two minutes and it's like you could marry him right then and there it's just like you just know love at first sight what did i say about someone you know needing to make a decision choosing with trust issues this is what somebody was dealing with dealing with somebody who was absolutely a very toxic person, someone who was very dishonest, deceptive, calculating, cunning, someone who could have betrayed their trust. A couple of cards just flew out. The spirit is telling me to take it and I shall. So we got the defensive energy, just blocking out all the negativity. That was the boundaries that we saw when we first touched the witch's wisdom. And so I feel like you have established this and you mean business because you do have trust issues. So people got to prove themselves. It's like they got to come in and they got to be initiated. It's like you got to prove yourself, beloved. You have a victory here. Somebody is going to, you know, absolutely have some sort of celebratory moment, whether this be you or them. This could also indicate that there is some sort of um, victory lap, a breakthrough moment. You know, maybe someone is coming in and proposing um, to, you know, proposing to you because um, this could literally be like a marriage. You know, somebody's up in their head really thinking about you know um how to get this because it's like they they envision this they envision having this victory they envision uh reconnecting reuniting but they are fearful that's why they were mustering up the strength you know to face you because they feel like you're so defensive you know and you are <laughs> because drake was just saying you got trust issues beloved i mean i don't blame you and so look at this the knight of swords this is what this person is doing. You know, this is that vile energy. Somebody very like, you know, argumentative, you know, somebody who wants to control and command and dictate, you know, and this is what this person is doing. They're fighting, you know, they're standing up to that bully. They're standing up to that person, even though, you know, this, is, this person is, is doing some old, you know, some toxic ish. Like they literally, they're fighting for themselves. They're fighting, you know, for their, their free dome. You know, literally, physically, spiritually, they're fighting for their free dome. Look at this. This is what they're doing. And they, they succeed because that world card has given me a strong indication that they're walking away. Even on the card, you can see that he's like, you know, kind of walking away. I also feel like this person that is, um, you know, this person has become aware because it looks like he's looking, you know, directly at the cauldron, you know, the way the cards are sitting on the table. It's like he realizes something just as I said, like intuition told him, you know, because I just feel like somebody's concocting something, you know, cooking something and, and, and putting ish in somebody's food. You know, that's why, you know, from I remember when I was a young child, you know, like my my grandmother, my mom, they used to tell me, don't be eating at people's house. I don't care how cool and friendly people are or appear to be. Don't eat from anyone. Unless you see them prepared, unless you are sitting there helping to prepare it. But this right here is strongly giving me the feeling like somebody's been doing something. And somebody woke up and they're fighting back. They're fighting for their life. I feel like they're fight, fighting for their freedom. And they eventually receive it because their intuition, that two, is the, the high priestess. You know, and, and that two and that six is giving me like the eight of swords. We already see on the on the side of that, you know, this nine of swords up in their head, probably suffering from, you know, insomnia, waking up during witching hours because their energy was literally being manipulated here. We could see here with the invocation and the ritual. 
So it's like this is what somebody finally says, aha, I'm sorry, I was giving you two wrong cards. So this six and this two, it's like, okay, I'm walking away, I'm moving away, I'm moving away from this situation because I'm getting like the eight of cups now, you know, like leaving, I'm leaving that. And it's because it's, it's, it's toxic. And we got high tech. And this is um called Sun God. So they see the truth of the matter. They see what happens. They had some sort of grand epiphany. They trusted their intuition. You know, the high priestess is very psychic. So they picked up on something that wasn't right. Maybe their ancestors stepped in and was like, look, don't eat that. They started to hear, you know, their higher selves that we already saw. They was dedicating, you know, you're dedicating or their, you know, whoever I'm picking up on. Um, was dedicating more time with the all, you know, with their altars, which means that there's a stronger connection you're developing with your ancestors and your spirit team. And so once you develop that, your higher self is going to start, you know, speaking to you loudly. And so next we have the King of Cups here. So this is a very devoted king, passionate king, loving king. This person is coming in to bring emotional equilibrium balance. You know, the sun god, somebody that's coming to bring light and love, purity. This is somebody that obviously has had some sort of epiphany. They're looking over at this divine feminine because we got 48 and we got this 48 over here. They're looking at you like you ground them. You bring balance. That 48 reduces to 12, which is 3. So they feel like you being, bring a sense of groundedness. And that's what the divine feminine, divine masculine does. Even if this king of cups is a queen of cups, this is what they are looking at you as. Somebody who knows their worth and value. Someone nurturing, loving, kind, domestic. Someone who is very tender, loving, caring, beautiful, attractive. They're like admiring you. And there is distance. And they are deep in emotions. Like this person has realized like, damn, I love this person. Like I love them. They are the one. You still number one, even after all of the duds, after all of the people that was distracting them from this connection initially, they realize you're the one. Nobody got nothing on you. They realize also this is destiny. Somebody's trying to interfere with this destiny, this destined connection. I mentioned it was written in the stars. Somebody's trying to cause an ending. Someone's trying to prevent this cycle. They're trying to put a stick in the wheel. You know, so that this fortune, so that this blessing cannot come in. And that's exactly what I'm seeing here with the clearance. It's like they're literally trying to block a blessing and dim someone's light. And that's why spirit is telling you, like, look alive, protect yourself, defend yourself. You know, somebody's trying to block your blessings and blast, block opportunities that are obviously meant for you. And it's out of nothing more than jealousy and envy. But this angel of balance comes in to restore, I'm sorry, this angel of love, pardon me, comes in to, you know, bring love regardless. Because we had the door to value, I mean, the door to romance along with that, um, you know, that blossoming abundance. And you also had that happy ending. So whatever they're trying to block, it's like they're going to reap what they sow. They're literally going to reap what they sow. Seed you sow, whether good or bad, whatever intentions, you're going to reap what you sow, beloved. You're going to reap what you sow. And this is beautiful because spirit is showing you that there's movement. You know, things are turning. Wheels are turning. What's destined for you is still coming regardless. Regardless of this this, this witchcraft, these rituals, these tired, desperate-ass psychos are doing, it's not stopping nothing. You're still going to be happy. You're still going to be fulfilled. See that? This is you moving onward and uh, upwards and onwards to bigger and better. This is the wheel of fortune. So divine spirit of love and light. And I just saw the divine masculine there too. I just saw the divine masculine. Look at that. And there goes the empress. The, the masculine is never too far from the feminine. That divine masculine is never too far. He's always right there. So why is this candles, magic, 32 music, and angel of love here for my uh, divine counter, my divine collective, I say counterparts. And we have the tower. See that? They're trying to cause a tower moment. Something has to be destroyed so it could be rebuilt. They're trying to cause this tower moment. And this is where I, where I was communicating, like, you got to pay attention to everything around you. Pay attention to the cycles and rhythms of, of your body, of just the way you feel energetically. Because things, everything is frequency, you know. Somebody comes around you with, oh, you can feel negative energy just pulsating off another person. So it's like, you got to pay attention to that because somebody's trying to cause this tower moment. But towers are necessary. I mentioned the tower, you know, and, and here it is. 
it was a song that was playing. I forgot what it was, but it said, I think it said, tear it down. That's what it was. And so I do feel like spirit is exposing someone because this is spirit's work. This is universe stepping in to, to rectify a situation, to expose something. So this, this is like a necessary ending. And this is also 16. So that's seven, you know. So this is literally seven because you got nine, nine here from the 32 and the 49. So spirit is telling you, trust your intuition to avoid some sort of tower moment somebody is trying to um, cause in your life. And this always looks like, you know, to me, this looks like two feminines, you know, falling out of this tower, you know. And um, so whoever these, you know, because the, there's like four feminine energies here. So I do feel like it's a, fem a feminine energy that is um, invoking something negative. Even if it's, you know, it could be a practitioner. So even a masculine could be going to a feminine practitioner to do this, you know. So just be mindful. Just be mindful. Use your intuition. I feel like your intuition. We got the queen of staffs. So this is like, you know, the, the, the queen of staffs is usually known as like, you know, the, 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 you know, the little, um, the side piece, the mistress, you know, a lot of people, because she's attractive and she's very sensual and sexual and, you know, um, passionate, you know, so it's like this energy could be very well. Um, an energy of someone who is very, very vindictive, very vile, very commanding, very overbearing, controlling, you know, because this, this queen of staffs could be all of that. And they could be so vindictive that they are the ones doing this voodoo, this hoodoo, juju, suit, santaria, black magic, whatever ritual work that we see here. But whatever they're doing, trust and believe this angel of love is protecting you. Because you're pure. I feel like your heart is pure. I feel like the person you're attracting, you know, they're, they're having a spiritual purge, as I said. And they're literally, like, blocking out and trying to, not even trying, they're releasing, you know, whatever isn't serving them. And so I feel like that's why this angel of love is here. Because this is, like, preordained, you know. The fours are associated with that 1111, that twin flame energy, you know. And that's what we have here. So this is a destined union. And we have Jay-Z song cry. So this person is going to be literally like sitting around because we got music. They're going to be they're probably sitting around listening to a bunch of sorry, sad songs. And it's just putting them into a deeper depression, you know. But I definitely feel like they're going to reap what they sow because this tower is right here, you know. And I keep hearing destroy and rebuild. So whatever they're trying to destroy, you, you're going to rebuild it stronger, you're going to rebuild it even more impenetrable. This is powerful. And remember, I kept, you know, you we had happy ending earlier. So why is this um, ritual um, invocation, 41, financial discipline, completion, number nine, and fourth chakra, Archangel Raphael? See this? This is emotional manipulation. I feel like somebody is definitely... Um, trying to manipulate another person from coming in and offering you love I definitely feel like with this angel um, Archangel you know the fourth chakra deals with love with song cry someone is coming back to you very apologetic very humble I feel like it may shock you you might be a little suspicious and may feel somebody you know because now I'm picking up like this is the energy of the person coming towards you because they they have had their moment you know they could have been listening to songs that reminded them of you. They could be clairaudient, whatever the case may be. But I also feel these, these, these people doing ritual work could also be trying to emotionally manipulate this person. Because when I see that fish, I always hear something's fishy about someone, someone's apology. And then I see off in the distance this tower. So I always feel, and then where there's smoke, there's fire. So you can see the smoke, you know, f coming from... Um, the distance where the, the, the tower is. So I feel like this person, remember that fire sign, and then you see the seven of swords on the bottom of the deck. So there's something fishy about some sort of offer. And it's because it's coming from this person 
that is not trying to um, end this cycle. They only want it to continue because they're codependent on another person. They depend on them financially. And I feel like with Archangel Raphael, it's reminding someone not to fall for the okie doke and to follow their heart. You know, follow their heart because I definitely feel like somebody's trying to, um, you know, it's a smoke screen. It's literally gaslighting. Somebody's like, there's something fishy going on. So it's like, pay attention. And with the Seven of Swords, this is the master manipulator. This is that person, that same person that was cloaked out, hidden, hiding their hand, hiding their back, got their back turned. This is what they're doing in silence, doing ritual work, trying to prevent something. See that? Trying to steal some. This is someone trying to literally steal someone's opportunity, trying to block someone's blessing, trying to thwart a plan. This is spirit offering something beautiful, tangible, a new financial start, beginning. We just saw blossoming abundance. We see abundance over here. This is what they're trying to block. And they're going to be very meticulous, very calculating, very cunning. And they might even fake cry because I hear song cry. So they might even like resort to like faking it. Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Whenever somebody's sitting there crying, you don't see no tears. Nigga, you ain't. I'm sorry. I said <laughs> I got real upset. <laughs> Oh, part of me. Rewind. Let me get that out of there. Ooh, sorry. You are not crying. <laughs> Where the tears at? You know what I'm talking about? Like, if you don't feel it's real, then it ain't real. Period. And this is what somebody's going to be doing. They're going to be fake crying. Like, <laughs> I'm so, it's like, okay, and the Oscar nomination for Best Actor or Best Actress award goes to, you know what I'm talking about? Like, somebody is literally, like, spirit is telling you be patient, pay attention, you know, Pay attention to everything that's happening around you. You know, this isn't about rushing things. This is even for your person. Like, this, good things take time to create. This is divine timing, divine order. Spirit is stepping in and telling you, like, look, patience is a form of action. Someone is really, and this is that same person that's been learning. This could be even you going through the growing pains, you know, healing. And that's why you're being rewarded. And then you got this old hateful person trying to sabotage and steal you know, steal from your hard work, your efforts. And what did I say about the Eight of Cups? I feel strongly that person that is being, you know, or someone is trying to emotionally manipulate, they're going to walk away because they're going to see right through it. I strongly feel somebody's going to see right through the the um, illusion, but I do want to get another card. Let me get one more card for this ritual, invocation, financial discipline, completion, Archangel Raphael. Why are these cards here? May I have a message of love and light? Why is ritual... Financial discipline. Thank you, spirit. And we have the emperor. So this is absolutely someone very controlling. I was picking up controlling. Whenever somebody's, you know, you being commanded, like, like, no, th that's a controlling energy. Remember, we just had that, that queen of staffs, which is the um, queen of wands, which is fire energy. So this is also like spirit telling somebody, stand in your power, be, you know, be um, assertive, you know, be that boss, stand, you know, erect, face, whatever this is, you know, this emperor does not back down, he goes after what he wants, he's very confident, very assertive, all of the things I mentioned, and so this is the suit, this is the divine counterpart of the divine feminine, so you do have, and I remember when I was shuffling, I saw the empress, and I was saying how the emperor isn't too far from the queen, he's always right, I mean, the empress, he's never too far behind the, the empress, see this queen of swords, this is about being alert, being very logical, paying attention, looking at things from that bird's eye view, and that's what someone is doing, being very meticulous, paying close attention. Because why? Because their higher self is telling them that bird is like an angel. This is a messenger telling them, look, pay attention. The cloud, the puff of smoke they was under, it's dissipating. So it obviously was up higher in the sky where it was around the crown. So it was blocking their vision. They weren't able to see clearly. Remember I mentioned smoke screen. Well, that looks like smoke, even though it's clouds. But this person now can see clearly. Coast is clear, literally. See that? Look at the sun. Clarity. Someone sees someone's offer is definitely not what they want. Like I said, where there's smoke, there's fire. And so someone, and, and the fire sign showed up. So I do feel like somebody, and this is, you know, the sun. Sun represents fire. 
but we are in the sun sign right now of um what are we in what what month is it no oh this i believe we are in virgo yeah we're in virgo so this could be an earth sign i was picking up earth energy when we were using the um i believe that was the which is wisdom when we saw the two cows just kind of chilling you know and um i was picking up on you know taurian energy taurus or you know earth energy grounding energy but yeah something gives you clarity you receive clarity you know and i do feel there is no communication because that sword downward is telling me there's no active communication between someone because i do feel like you know this is you know the energy of a queen of swords who is very guarded very protective you know and so this person could be you know absolutely wanting to come in very apologetic you know wanting to um follow their heart because that's what you know, they are, their heart chakra is absolutely open. Archangel Raphael has been helping them and healing them. So they can be coming in very confident, very sure now. Whereas in the past, they could have been unsure. You know, they could have been a little confused, you know, as I said. Because they was under this, this illusion, under this spell, literally. And on the bottom of the deck, I feel like, you know, you are going to trust what your spirit says. You're not going to cut them off immediately like you're going to give them an opportunity to speak their peace to say what they need to say because now you are so sure and confident in yourself it's like you you're not you're not you're not um you're not backing down you're fearless now so that is very powerful i love that but this is your reading beautiful collective i hope the message is resonated um it definitely this is like i don't know what's going on with the energy but there's definitely a lot of um, there's just some jealousy and envy, you know, and I guess that is, you know, because people are coming into, you know, their purpose, into their power, and those who have not been doing their work are feeling a ways. They're, they're jealous, you know, they're, they're, they're taking out their insecurities and projecting it onto those who are absolutely doing the work, but it's like, you know, don't hate, you know, congratulate, like, don't hate what you can't duplicate. Just just be better, do better, and, and, and aspire to to um, become that of what it is you desire to be. And that's the, that's the process. Nobody's doing anything different than what you can do. So to hate on someone and go to the extreme measures of doing ritual work and trying to keep somebody that does not belong to you, beloved. You know, that person has free will. You know, don't take away someone's free will because of your inability to naturally attract what you desire you know some people aren't meant for you it's okay find who's meant for you because it's obvious you're trying to interfere with something that is preordained that's destined and it's not going to be good when you know when universe is, is is uh you know looking for that karmic debt to be repaid so it would behoove you to not throw out what you cannot you know which you are not prepared to get back, you know? So um, I don't know if I'm speaking to someone that's tuning and tapping in or if I'm just speaking out, you know, to just command that energy to like, you know, you might want to, you might want to do a little bit of reflection and, 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 and repentance of, of these, these misdeeds because this is not the way, you know? Manipulating other people's energy is never the way. Take care of yourself, protect yourself, but you don't have to do that um, by being malicious or trying to harm others, you know, protecting yourself is your right, but trying to throw things at people that have not done anything to you, you know, without any rhyme or reason, you just hating on this divine feminine because she over there glowing, it's like, take notes, beloved, take notes, even if it's a divine masculine, take notes, what you hating on that man for? If anything, you should be over there trying to pick their brain, figure out what they what, what they doing. You know what I'm saying? Because if it got you hating on them, it's like, eh, that's that's ridiculous. But there is love that is destined. It came out. The Wheel of Fortune has come out in several readings. There are a lot of you that have done your work. There's a lot of you who are really about to embark on a beautiful new beginning. You're on the precipice of an amazing new life we already saw a happy ending you're going to be elated and this is your just due you put in the work 
and now you're going to receive the blessings, period. But this is your reading. I thank you so much for tuning and tapping in. If you found that the message is resonated, I do ask that you be kind. Hit the like button and hit the notification bell so you know whenever I upload. And I do appreciate you. If you are new, I hope you stay a while. If you are return returning, you already know what it is, beloveds. Love is love is love. Till next time, send a big fat ashe. Peace.